I'm Sarah Salzberg, graduating class of 2008 from Concordia University in Seward, Nebraska, and I currently teach at Orange Lutheran High School in Orange, California. I really wanted to talk to you about objectives, and I think that they're really important to begin every school year with. Um, I set aside at the beginning of the year what I consider to be the 10 objectives, what I hope every one of my students leaves my classroom knowing. Obviously, I'd like them to know everything, but that's just unrealistic. Um, and by creating what I call these global objectives, I'm able to um, ensure that every unit and every lesson, I'm constantly looking forward to meeting those um, global objectives. So then at the beginning of every unit, I decide of all of the things that I'm te teaching during this unit, what are the four or five things that I can pull away, um, knowing that every student um, will, if nothing else, they will know about this book or this unit, whatever I'm covering. Um, what, by doing that, then every single uh, lesson in the unit, I set aside one, maybe two objectives. Um, that if they leave that classroom that day knowing nothing, they've learned one thing. Um, and that by having these global objectives and then the local objectives of each unit and then what I would consider to be the most immediate objectives of every single class period, I can make sure that if my immediate objective is meeting the local objective of the whole unit, then my local objective should be meeting a global objective for the whole year. Um, it keeps me on track, but it also allows the students to really know what is the most valuable um, parts of that class um, and the most valuable parts of um, my whole subject area. Um, and I really think that you can do this at the beginning of every school year, but I don't think it's ever too late to start. Um, and so just set aside time for you to decide what are the objectives that you think are the most important aspects of your class.